Joe Beningo joined us in his weekly spot, and, and I remember this happened a few times over the years where we worked together, where Joe would say something, I would think he was nuts, but then I would think about it, because I'm a very open-minded guy, Tiki, very open-minded. Hmm. And sometimes when you or Sean or Lugie or Joe or anybody out there says something, I listen. You always think about what I say. I do. You never think I'm off the wall. No, occasionally. <laughs> occasionally. You should I... hear him on the elevator out of here, Tiki. <laughs> But I think about it because maybe what you said made sense. And Joe hit the nail on the head. Even if the Jets continue to lose, even if they are, quote, out of it, I want Aaron Rodgers back. Why? I want him to play football. He's 40 years old coming off an Achilles surgery, injury and surgery. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's rehabbing. Yes, he looks fantastic. Yes, he's throwing pat and go. But why? If it's not worth it, why would you want it? That's a great question, Tiki. I'm going to tell you why. Because I need to test drive the vehicle. <laughs> I need to ride Aaron Rodgers. Because what is the biggest fear of Aaron Rodgers coming back getting this hurt. season? Oh, it's getting hurt. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's what I look. Here's the way I look at it. If Aaron Rodgers comes back week 15, games don't even matter, mm -hmm. and his Achilles pops, which I, I hate to even envision. I hate to think of Aaron Rodgers having any kind of second injury or any kind of setback. But if he does... Then I know I need to move on. Then I get my answer before waiting the entire offseason and waiting entire training camp and talking ourselves into the same thing we talked ourselves into this season. So if things go bad injury-wise, move on. So you're going to get a quarterback then? Yes. You want, you want to know before April when you have to determine whether or not you're drafting a quarterback or not, doing whatever it takes to get one, before April you want to know. Yeah, so, you, so you want to know now. Before I drive the vehicle and I take it off the lot, don't we test drive it a little yeah, bit? Let me ask a different scenario. Go ahead. Let's say Aaron Rodgers comes back perfectly healthy. Yeah. Like he's fine. Health, you know, running around, he's scrambling, does whatever. What if he just stinks? What if he stinks? What if he's like terrible? What, now what why does he a, stink? What if What's... he's a shell of the Aaron Rodgers that you expected? Like he can't hit a flat route. Missing it on screen. Oh, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm just saying. Come on. No, 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 okay, no, no. So, uh, so hold on. You want to evaluate. <laughs> you want to test drive the Bentley. Yeah. But by the way, if you get a Bentley, you don't need to test drive it. Just just, just <laughs> count your blessings that you got it. Right? What if the Bentley has 150,000 miles on and it? Count the blessings that you have it. Because people are going to still say, dude, Evan's got a Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> right? so, but my point is, what, what if he just looks bad? Mm -hmm. Like not the Aaron Rodgers that you expected. What if things look worse? than they did with Zach or with Tim Boyle, whoever well, you know, whoever. Okay, finishing I, I will answer that. I will answer that. Number one, I don't think that's going to happen, okay? I'm not concerned that he's going to come back and just look like he forgot to play the game of football. But what I want to do, and this is why I think it's worth it to my fellow Jet fans, and I appreciate Joe for putting it in my head, because initially I was like everybody else, only if the games matter. Mm -hmm. Why risk it? Why risk it? Well, here's why. I need data points going into next year. If Aaron Rodgers is a mess, if Aaron Rodgers looks bad, and again, I think that's really unrealistic, but I want to answer your question. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll file that away. Maybe that changes my view on how I handle Aaron Rodgers in 2024. If Aaron Rodgers gets hurt, it definitely changes the way I handle Aaron Rodgers in 2024. If he looks great behind this decrepit offensive line, behind an offensive coordinator that's been much maligned, but it works for Aaron Rodgers, which is really the reason he's here, then let's go. I'm ready to go for 2024. It's almost like an extended preseason. It's it's almost like a preseason that goes back to December and January. And for him, I think it matters because it can tell him, hey, I can come back from this, even at age 40, because if he plays this year, it's after he turns 40. His birthday is in just a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. So I think for him it matters. I think for the organization it matters. And for me, here's why it really, really matters. And I said this to you the other day in a different kind of situation. I can't have the Aaron Rodgers experiment fail without ever really getting to see him play. Yeah, We need to see him play. It's and so if he's able to come back, whether this team is 4-8 and eight or 7-7, seven and seven, bring it on. Let the man play. So I, I hear what you're saying, but... I'm like I, I'm not a, a, a you know believer in once a guy comes back he's healthy. I believe that once a guy comes back he's just there and there's a chance that he could get hurt again. And that's with any injury, whether it be a concussion or I don't know a, a, a pec muscle. But when you're 40 years old, your body just doesn't heal the same way. 
and you're not you're not able to handle the stresses the same way. So if I'm Aaron Rodgers and the team is out of it, because that's what you're assuming. You're you're assuming your assumption here is that the regardless of where the Jets are, if they're in it, mm-hmm. if they're out of it, you want to see Aaron Rodgers. But if the Jets are out of it, Aaron Rodgers would be better served to get himself as strong as possible, as limber as possible, take the entirety of that offseason, which is basically till May, and and then start to ease his way back into it, as opposed to jumping right back on the bandwagon uh, on the on the on the train, right? And you know, just because you want to see it, that doesn't make sense to me. Because if it's if it's if you're risking injury and then basically your career, because if he gets hurt again, is he? If he gets hurt again, is he putting that's extra his risk? Is he putting extra risk by coming back? I, I would think so. Okay, because Except Aaron because Rodgers he hasn't, he hasn't recovered. Uh, Aaron Rodgers' plan right now is to come back. And he was even pushed on, hey, the Jets are in trouble. Because we all think the Jets are in trouble. Yes. We all look at where the Jets are, standings-wise, playing Miami on Friday. And we all feel, wow, they're in a lot of trouble. They may lose to Miami to drop to 4-7. and They may lose to Atlanta. This thing may completely spiral out of control. Aaron Rodgers is still working as if he's coming back. Now, he also gave us a pep talk, Hmm. which we'll play for you so you guys can hear it. He tried to pump me up. Did he pump you up? So Rodgers is planning on trying to come back, thinking, hey, this season isn't over. Here's Aaron Rodgers earlier with Pat McAfee. Listen, there's been some four and six teams that have made runs over the years. Back in 2016, there was a a team in in the NFC North that uh, people were counting out. They went on a run. Ty probably remembers this one. Oh, yeah. Won eight in a row and went to the uh, NFC Championship game. That's right. There was a team in 2009 in the Big Apple, well, Jersey, that was four and six, finished nine and seven, went to the AFC Championship game. So, listen, uh, the season is definitely not over. It's not dead. There's a lot left to play for. Hmm. Uh, I'm excited about where I'm at in my rehab. Hmm. First of all. Is he intentionally not saying the team's names? (laughs) Well, (laughs) he he talked about the Jets, which means a lot to me. Because for yeah, Aaron yeah. Rodgers to but go in actually, history. But he didn't actually say the Jets. Yeah, but he, he meant the Jets. <laughs> I know what he meant. I know he meant his team in Green Bay. Yeah. And I know, and he didn't have to do it. Because there are plenty of examples of teams that are 4-6 and six, or even worse than that mm-hmm. that have gone on runs. Yeah. The fact, and this is where Aaron Rodgers you know, kind of tickles me as a Jet fan. I love it. He makes me feel good. It gives me a little back massage. He didn't have to bring up the 2009 Jets, but he did. <laughs> like, he could have brought up any other team, but he knew... I'm going to take these suckers and make them happy. I'm going to I'm gonna give them a little smirk. I'm going to make them happy. And Aaron Rodgers made me happy. But think about it. He's so manipulating of you. Oh, and it it's works. so amazing. It works. He's just like teasing you. Just give me a little tickle. There's <laughs> a little tickle. Evan. There you go. There you go. You know what's great? Uh, you're laughing. <laughs> it, it works so well. I know it does. Dude, when he started talking about other teams and he mentions the 16 Packers, I'm like, whatever. Who the hell cares? <laughs> as soon as he said 09, Sean was with me. Did my... Ears and eyes just perk up like a child. Like a cartoon character coming out of your face. He shut the Jets! He shot him! Look, he shot him! But he's trying to come back as if the Jets are going to be in it. That's mm-hmm. the right attitude to have. And maybe we'll all be wrong, and Aaron will be right, and they're going to shock the Dolphins on Friday, and they are in it. But if he's planning on trying to come back as if they're in it, yeah. then what's the difference if he plays whether they have eight losses or seven losses? I, th- I think it's just the... So if... if- if the Jets are still in it, let's say they they win the next three games and they're they're sitting there and it feels like man we're on a run right now. When we get Aaron back, what who knows what can happen? Mm-hmm. There's so you feel good about yourself. There's still a risk that he could get hurt, that he could go out there and feel great, feel like now we have a real shot to make the playoffs and to do something once we get there. He could still get hurt. Yeah, but even with him still being able to get hurt, Tiki, the Jets are okay with it. Aaron Rodgers is okay with it, right? Of of course. So then what's the difference? You see what I'm saying? If they're willing it. to let him play week 15 in Miami I, or week 16 Christmas Eve at MetLife against Washington, what's the difference it, based on seven or eight losses? Isn't there a difference between getting hurt when it means when it matters and getting hurt when it means nothing. See, here's the difference. I think, I think it matters. There, I think it does. No, but I think it matters. It matters to you. No, I think it ma- it can matter for this organization. We're all and I'm willing to Why, do just it. So you can see it? Yes. Yes, I think that matters. Dude, if he gets hurt again, 
Don't you think I will come to you and come to this radio station with a different clarity on what to do at the quarterback position, which you mean Joe Douglas would do the same thing? Or maybe Woody just fires everybody. I, you don't think that changes things? I, well, I think regardless of what happens, you're 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 looking at your quarterback situation this offseason, right? Whether it's finding a very competent backup if you have more cap space or drafting somebody. I think regardless of what happens at the end of this season, whether – Aaron Rodgers leads this team to a Super Bowl, right, if he comes back. Or he doesn't play at all, or he plays and gets hurt. You're thinking about what you're doing at quarterback next year. It's it's probably priority number one for this Jets team. It's quarterback. Do you really think that's the case? I'm not I, saying you're me, wrong, but me, do you think that be. really is the case? I think you see why it's necessary. They also have a terrible offensive line. You don't think they may take yeah, an offensive well, lineman with that valuable first-round pick? But Sean mentioned this yesterday, and he's right. It's not always about the first round pick. There's a lot of really good offensive linemen that go in the second, third, and fourth round. No, I get it, but you just said prioritize. I don't know if they're going to prioritize that. I, I mean, a future quarterback? I don't know if they will. Well, here's, if Aaron Rodgers comes back okay, and if, gets if, hurt, if, then you will. Yes. If if Aaron Rodgers plays next year, and the Jets are really good, mm-hmm. where are they picking? Not in the top five. Right. Not in the top ten. Right. And and then and so. You're either, you're either going to ride a roller coaster until he's done, meaning he's up, hope he's healthy, you win, you're not picking high, so you're not drafting your quarterback of the future, or you're going to have a bad season where you can draft your quarterback, but I think you should do it when you have the opportunity, which looks like it's going to be after this season. T, I'm not saying you're wrong. What I'm saying is I'll have more information and we'll all have more information about Aaron Rodgers by him playing this season. Hmm. There's a benefit. Like, we can't just look at this simply as, well, can they make the playoffs or not? And if the answer is no, I don't want to see him. That's what I thought about two days ago. But the more I've thought about it, the more I realize there is a benefit hmm. for him playing the final three or four weeks of the season. Because if he is terrible, which I doubt, or if he does get hurt, that changes how you view 2024 and may change how much further you want to go with this. Sean just reminded me. You don't have your second round pick. Because no, they don't have their second round pick next year. Beginning the Aaron Rodgers trade because of the Aaron Rodgers. It could trade. have been the first round pick, but yeah. because he didn't play enough, it actually went into being a second round pick. But it gives you more information. So I know we've all thought about this in a way of if they can win, bring him back. If not, no, no, no. We got to open our mind even more because we can get more information about Aaron Rodgers by him coming back. So if he's ready to come back. And he says he's good, and the doctors clear him. Bring his ass yeah. back. We don't need to see more weeks of Tim Boyle. You're forgetting one important factor, Evan. And even if it's a little, little 5% factor. What's that? Aaron Rodgers is a complete weirdo. Okay? <laughs> and, but that factors in because of this. Yes. We have fallen so head over heels the last nine months in love with Aaron Rodgers. In many ways, sorry, Jeff Vincent says he's manipulated all of your brains. You are eating out of the palms of his hands. Evan, you know you are too. It wasn't that long ago pre-Jets. In fact, it was less than a year ago that he claimed he went into the darkness at 90% retired and then came out (laughs) and had this epiphany. All I'm saying is if Rodgers comes back for the final two or three games and the Jets are already out of it, and maybe something doesn't feel right Mm. in his thing, or maybe he sees the O-line stinks, maybe he doesn't like the direction of stop, maybe he doesn't feel right for three weeks. My only worry is... Hero ball from Aaron Rodgers, he gets to stake the claim that he's the fastest to ever come back from Achilles, and maybe that's how he rides off into the sunset and says, you know what? I don't know that I'm going to be by the way, and yeah. I don't like the situation. By, by I the retire. Way, I want to respond to that. You think that's the worst-case scenario? I don't. Like, if Aaron Rodgers, and I think that's very unlikely, by the way. I, I'm not saying wanna, likely, but 5%, let's call okay, it. Okay, but I want to entertain your thought. If Aaron Rodgers came back and said, did it, I accomplished it, mm-hmm. fastest recovery ever, I'm out. Well, then it's clarity to move the hell on. So you're saying you just want to see Aaron Rodgers play because you need clarity for next year. 100%. It's also, it's also because you want to see Aaron Rodgers in this Jets uniform. I'd like I need play. to ride Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> I'd like you, to see him play, you, sure. You, you want to see – you want to you want to fulfill this, this crazy dream that all Jet fans had. You want to see it happen. Well, I need to see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. My biggest regret to you, we talked yesterday about this coaching staff and does Robert Sala deserve to be fired? Does Joe Douglas deserve to be fired? Does Nate Hackett deserve to be t- fired? And those discussions 
are clouded by Aaron Rodgers, as we all know. Mm -hmm. And what I've said to you is I'm not willing, some people are, I'm not willing to blow the whole thing up. I'm not willing to stand on principle and say, you know what, Aaron? We own the team. We're going to fire everybody. And if you don't like it too bad, I'm not comfortable doing that. You would think I learned a lesson or two from my past of watching mercenaries, but I haven't. Because I can't live with the regret of never seeing it. Yeah. So Aaron Rodgers playing football for the Jets, it's important. You can't have it be four freaking snaps on Monday against Buffalo in September. So Jet fans, open up your minds and open up your eyes. So he's on McAfee today. Aaron Rodgers was. Did he give any more clarity on what out of it means or whether or no. not whether or not no. he actually is going to <laughs> he, he did find say, a way to get back? He did say the two are mutually exclusive. <laughs> right, because so, he's so trying to trying work to his way back, back. Trying to get back and play versus whether or not the Jets are out of it. Don't They're not related. They are mutually exclusive, his words. Yeah. He is on a mission to come back. He also, as we just played, gave the Jet fan the pep talk of, we're not out of it. Mm. All it takes is that one game or one play that can change everything. So his mindset, and I think you have to have that mindset, because... You can't, like, alter your rehab based on what happened no. on Sunday. No, he's got to get right regardless. He's he's working to get back as fast as possible. So if that means he's going to be back in two weeks, he's going to be back in two weeks. Whether or not he plays or not, that's what you're debating. Have I convinced you? Bring him back either no. way. No. No. <laughs> no. I think you, you have to save him. Uh, you have to keep him healthy him. for and, and getting stronger. Because the longer he waits, the stronger he gets in theory. Because um, obviously he's older now. It's just a little bit different. I think the sh- the longer he is not playing competitive football and just trying to be healthy, the better off he is in 2024. Because if you do it now and he gets hurt, obviously you know your answer. I move on. But then it just feels like you're a wasted. No, because it, what know, it tells it just, it me feels is it wasted. No, it's not because it would tell me this wouldn't have worked. Yeah, That's but, what it tells me. Yeah, but then all of the uh, – like the – the resources and the energy, emotional and otherwise, and the money they went into Aaron Rodgers, it's just it's just gone. It's like, all right, never mind. Dude, we, it never may, mind, we didn't do that. It may be gone either way. He comes back next year, plays five games and gets hurt. He comes back next year and isn't the same guy because he's 40. You could be saying the same thing. We'll get to your calls coming up, 877-337-6666. It is Hunger Thon Day here at WFN. As long as I've been here, we've done Hunger Thon right before Thanksgiving trying to feed America, and there's ways that you can donate. First of all, you could text the keyword GIVE to 833-904-4780. Make any kind of donation of Why Hunger's Hunger Thumb. And all day today, our friends at Casamigos is matching 50% of what's donated. We also have some tremendous auction items. You can sit in, watch the show. Sean has agreed that he will allow you to punch him in the face. Is that true that you agreed to that? I must have been another Sean. Oh, <laughs> we're going to try to convince him. Tiki will autograph whatever you want. That's easy. I'll ask. I answer any kind of baseball geek question you want, but you can watch the show for an hour. Lugie will make you laugh with some jokes. He'll tell you that the Knicks are dogs. You can bid on these items at whyhunger.org slash odyssey. There's also this great thing that we've been doing for years now where you get a luxury suite at Barclays Center, you get to watch the Brooklyn Nets, and I'm there with you. And we're all hanging out, watching the Nets, watching hoops, eating chicken fingers, shoving our face down with food. It's a very, very fun night. And the game we have this year is a good game. You get to see MVP Joel Embiid and rising superstar Tyrese Maxey. You will not see Ben Simmons, because he don't play basketball, (laughs) but you will see your Brooklyn Nets. You can bid on that as well, whyhunger.org slash odyssey, and check out other items that we have for you to bid on, but those are the two big around the show. Come hang out, watch the show, maybe not punch Sean in the face, maybe slap him. A slap? Give me a back massage. Hmm. Happy Slapsgiving? How about lick him in the face? Just give him a... (laughs) Uh, I guess that depends on what Sean just previously ate. Okay, all right. Jeez. He's got a little bit left on his cheek or something. <laughs> oh, saving <laughs> something for later? Yeah. <laughs> Stanley's cheesecake got me again. <laughs> you could do whatever you want to Sean. Go to whyhunger.org slash odyssey, within reason, with Sean's approval. All right? Let's make that clear. 
But bid on these auction items. We'll let you know how it goes throughout the day. We'll get your phone calls. There's some baseball to get to. How much more do you need to see from Tommy DeVito before you go Mike White crazy? We'll try to answer that question as well. <laughs> 